apa hal yang dia orang tak mau AC kat MDAC tu? Hai semua, terima kasih datang ke Balas Klasik. Apa khabar? Sehat-sehat ke? Okey, hari ni kita semang sikit ya pasal MDAC card tu, Malaysian Digital Arrival Card. Arrival Card ni dia macam khasnya untuk yang bukan warga negara Malaysia yang nak masuk ke Malaysia ni, dia kena siaplah isi card ni daripada negara dia orang sebelum dia orang masuk ke Malaysia lebih kurang macam tiga hari lah. Tapi ada juga visa holder yang uh, dikecualikan iaitu macam PR dan sebagainya lah. Uh, saya tak pasti pasal tu. Tapi saya tahulah pasal MDAC card tu sama jugalah macam kita AC card I-94 eh kalau kita nak pergi ke mana-mana. Jadi apa cerita pula? Ceritanya macam ni. Saya dengar lah. Saya de- tengok YouTube kan. Ada orang cerita macam ni pula. Dia kata bila dia dah sampai dekat apa ni Uh, border kita di sempadan Malaysia Immigration ni officer ni tanya kenapa ada yang tak siapkan kat ni dia orang macam ah, malas lah nak buat tak ada internet lah tak geti lah macam-macam alasan dia bagi saya fikir macam ni pula saya kata kenapa pula dia orang tak hormat dengan undang-undang apa kerajaan kita kan pasal kita kalau nak ke sempadan dia orang bukan senang kalau kita tak isik uh, ataupun kita tak buat benda-benda macam ni Ah, sorry lah deh, kita tak boleh masuk. Bila ditanya oleh pegawai immigration kita di sini, dia orang kata dia orang lupa tarik sebab perjalanan jauh 30 jam, lepas tu transit transit sana, transit sini bila turun kat Malaysia tarik hari bulan pun dah lupa. Lepas tu dia cakap lagi, dia kata dia minum banyak apa wine, arak lah dalam flight. Turun-turun agaknya mabuk lagi kot. Tak tahulah saya. Is there something on your trip that maybe we should know beforehand already? Maybe you can teach us something that is really important to know about Southeast Asia in general. Inform yourself about uh, the requirements to to enter. We saw many, many white people standing at the immigration, especially in Malaysia. Oh yeah? Um, and they, they didn't... Um, You, you have to, to sign up before entering the Malaysia Digital Arrival Card. Yeah, this is a new thing actually. Yeah, it's uh, since December 23. Yeah. yeah. And um, nobody did it and then they, they were there, oh, I don't have internet, yeah. oh no, and yeah. do I have to do it? Yes, you have to do it. Oh shit, I can't do it. Mm. And uh, yeah, in, inform yourself, but then it's, it's easy. Yeah. Hey, we're here to sort of tell you our experience with the Malaysian Digital Arrival Card. And uh, you know what? We made one mistake at the end. And I hand him my passport and he says, you're Canadian? I say, yes. You read English, don't you? And I'm still not computing or processing what's going on. And then I say, yes, I do. And then he says to me, do you know what day it is today? And I'm thinking, 30 hours on a plane, gallons of wine. Uh, actually, I don't know what day it is today. I'm kind of tired. And he says, you don't know what day it is today? And then he told me. Yes, we filled out the wrong date on the uh, digital arrival card. We had put the date prior to arrival. The, when I got over there, I realized I had to do it on my phone. And I didn't have Wi-Fi or I having trouble connecting. Anyway, we don't want you to do that. So hopefully this video will help you fill out the card, get the right date. Just remember, if you're coming from another country that has a different time zone, make sure, because you can only do it within three days. Ada tak you all pernah booking hotel? Dalam hotel tu, bilik air dia semua cermin. Ada tak kena macam tu? Comment ya? Look if you look if you're booking accommodation with the toilet in your room and then with the glass wall. Yeah. It's a, it's a modern thing, a modern common thing uh, that you have only a, a glass wall to separate the toilet okay. from the from the bedroom. And if you if you're freshly to, together Nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you're having number number two, it's yeah, already yeah. awkward. <laughs> After four years, it's not a problem. Ah, We booked yeah, yeah. someone but with yeah. a accommodation with a glass wall yeah. for Georgetown. It looks nice, but if you have to do number two, it could be difficult yeah. if you just know the the other part for two months. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Malaysia is actually a peaceful country, yeah. uh, but uh, of course we will have in some area like different peoples in this world, right? Because religion and yeah. culture here yeah, yeah, that yeah, yeah. we in Malaysia we respect each other's culture. Yeah. That's it. That we have to stay uh, just to uh, avoid that. Yeah. Uh, so avoid. Let's say uh, I've heard it before. That you you better avoid talking about religion. Is that correct? Uh, yeah. Here here mm. we 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 prefer not to uh, talk about that. Yeah. Because we are we are here 
we have a mixed culture. Yeah. So it will be a bit sensitive, yeah. right? Is there something that we should be really aware of? Uh, something that we maybe do in the Western world, which is offending the Malaysians here? Ah, yeah. You know, in the Western world, affection is okay. Ah. I mean, <laughs> showing affection. Uh. Showing affection. Ah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, here, uh, you get to you know uh, get it under control. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. No kissing, no... Uh, yeah, yeah, ah. yeah. How about handshaking here? Are we okay Handshaking, to okay. Yeah. Yeah, handshaking, uh, hugging. Okay. Holding hands, let's say I've got my girlfriend and... Uh, yeah, that is okay. Yeah. Yeah, that is also okay. Ah, okay. Holding hands. You don't have to worry about anything. Just yeah. behave like you want to be. Yeah. Ah, you just be normal like any other tourist that yeah. coming to Malaysia. Just be nice to people, they'll be nice to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that as well. But is it not something that I... Yeah, maybe some tourists that are from the Western world, let's say, and they, okay. they come and do something that they normally do back home, but it's maybe not so polite here. I see so many foreigners, they behave like normal only. I don't yeah. see them behave differently. What is something that I should be aware of coming to Malaysia for the first time? The Muslim, they don't bring drink beer. Ah. Yeah, okay. so try to don't drink it in the public. One thing that I should be careful of? I don't think you need to be careful of anything here. No. No, no need to worry in Malaysia. I have been to countries, other countries like yeah. UK okay. or Europe. Yeah. As long as you follow the rules and regulations in that country. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, but don't worry. Like, uh, I'm, I'm looking for one rule that maybe we're not aware of that we should follow. I can't find any oh. uh, rules and regulations that you didn't need to follow. No. Like clothing or is it kind of, uh, you know, the way you talk and so on. There's nothing to worry. Also clothing, you think it's no problem? No right? problem. You wearing short pants, you can wear. Yeah. You can wear a t-shirt or okay. singlet and walk around. It's nothing yeah. as long as you don't uh, be semi nude or uh, something like that. Yeah, okay, okay. If you have a group of friends, we try to avoid uh, like uh, what food they don't eat and try not to let them be in a difficult position. Yeah. So let's say if you have a Muslim friend coming and you're cooking, you're not gonna cook pork. Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> Because okay. we, we respect each other, like yeah. you, you have the freedom to wear anything else. Ah. Well. You have a choice of taking Indian food, Chinese or Malay food. Durian, of course. Yeah. You should try sambal belacan. Okay. You should try budu. These are ah. all Malaysian signature, yeah. what we call this, uh, to bring the flavor to your food. Bakut teh, fish head curry. I would recommend you to go to Penang. Do you have a message to the world or some wisdom to pass on? Be kind to everybody and be loving to everyone. World peace. and. Uh, tolerate each other okay yeah we, we have been doing that uh, I mean a long time here we have to life is short mm. so whatever you do make yourself happy okay. as long as you're happy with what you're doing you can you just live your own life that's okay. it to me How? this is your first time in Malaysia yeah that's my first time in Asia it's like r really crowded everything and maybe yeah. a little bit dirtier than in Europe oh okay but it's like also impressive of all the huge buildings yeah how did you get to town from the airport? Oh, by bus. Oh. We live in Chinatown, so we took the bus. <laughs> what time did you come? It was uh, uh, in the evening. Ah. So, yeah, we, it took like two hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know there's a uh, high-speed train, uh, non-stop, 28 minutes, and it brings you into town. Yeah, we thought it's like nice to come ah. direct to Chinatown by yeah. bus, but yeah. like it took a long time. Uh, for example, that they pray a lot. Oh, yeah. uh, they are uh, the cult like re the religion in the, like in their bathrooms there are uh, like rooms just yeah, to pray yeah, yeah oh yeah you don't have that in Spain no or? no yeah. is this something that happens or something that is not so pleasant here in Malaysia maybe the, the smell the way that the city smells oh. Okay. So, because in our hotel, uh, the smell, yeah, yeah. like the smelling, yeah. is not good. What is the smell then? Uh, uh, like basura, uh, rubbish. rubbish. Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. And where do you stay? In, in, a, in a hotel, like in a tower. Yeah, in like a tower. I, I, we don't remember the, the I, I, tower names. Eh? But is it a, is it a budget hotel or is it? A no, it's no, in, there are apartments. So. Yeah, but oh. it's not the budget. I mean, it's uh, a little uh, bit. Yeah. It's not not expensive for yeah. us, but yeah. it's okay. Hopefully, the the building <laughs> sort out the, the smell. But over here, does it smell here? No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay, terima kasih pada rakyat Malaysia yang berbilang bahasa memberi nasihat dan pandangan mereka. 
kepada sesiapa sahajalah pengunjung yang masuk Malaysia ada perkara-perkara yang boleh buat dan ada perkara-perkara yang tak boleh buat dan juga kena saling uh, menghormatilah apa dan siapa saja di sini dan juga Undang-Undang Kerajaan Malaysia. Terima kasih datang ke Balas Klasik dan terima kasih juga kepada subscriber-subscriber. Terima kasih kepada channel-channel yang terbitkan video-video uh, yang best-best untuk reaksi. Terima kasih. Jumpa lagi. Bye-bye. One thing, even all the Malaysians are saying that it's okay to wear singlets, wear shorts. I know that a lot of people outside of KL or in different parts of Malaysia anyway do appreciate it if you cover your knees, your shoulders. So this is something that yeah, I maybe want to add to this video. Other than that, don't talk about politics, religion and don't start to kiss anyone in public. And if you're watching this from outside of Malaysia, I hope you're able to visit this amazing country.